Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Bible Recap. I'm Pastor So here at Southwest Lutheran Church. It's amazing how pastors start uh, on a second week with how Jesus began his mission. Jesus is starting stuff. Jesus is bringing and fulfill uh, the kingdoms of heaven, fulfill what God has promised his people, what God has promises, Abraham, right? And going through that Matthew 4 and diving into um, what he's going to do and what John uh, John the Baptist is going to do. Uh, it's, it's amazing how and when Jesus come and see John and ask John, hey, can you baptize me? And John was like, uh, I don't think so, right? I am not worthy of you uh, to even to untie uh, your sandal, right? But here John's like, I can't do it. But Jesus was like, no, just do it, right? Let's start this show, right? Let's begin this uh, kingdom of heaven. Let's fulfill this. Let's do this together. And it's amazing how pastors keep um, striving and giving an example how um, people, right, uh, with the repetitions that uh, happen in the life, uh, whether it's, it's in the sport team, right, or whether it's in uh, the church, or whether it's, it's something that you belong, right, when you stop doing it, it's hard for you to get back again. And especially in the last two years, COVID, right? Um, at first, we're like, yeah, we don't want anything to shut down, but then now we're so used to it with the media that we're like, okay, you know, I can eat my cereal or ice cream in the morning and then still get to watch the sermon. Uh, nothing's wrong with that, right? But when we cannot do it, um, I, I want to say that is uh, something, but when we can and have the opportunity to do it, we should go. Right. We should not find an excuse because we are the people of God who need to come to church and worship together. Right. And where can we find that in, in the world today? And sometimes we have maybe even our parents, even, even our siblings, right? They don't want to go to church because they're hurt by uh, the church or they're like uh, I don't think I want to see that person uh, at the church this morning trying to avoid right instead of coming to you know <clears throat> to, to, to build and to fix and to accept in one another and that sometime uh, the more we drift away it's harder for us to come back into that practice right if you haven't played soccer for so year so many years it's going to be hard for you to get back and play again Right. If you haven't run um, track for so many years, it's going to be hard for you to get back on there. But where we at, uh, what the repetitions that happen to us that is pushing us away uh, from God, we need to come back and to uh, bring this um, tradition and ritual and what God has promised us to do. Right, Jesus now, he is on the way to to preach and to bring this good news to the people, right? And here Jesus is calling his disciple, calling his friend to, come on, let's go and do this. Jesus say, Jesus doesn't say, I want to go out there and do this all by myself. I don't need you. No, he say, come, right? A fisherman, a sick people, a brokenhearted, a hungry people, right? A dying person, right? Come and follow me. Right. And we see this people begin to follow him. We see people begin to heal him. And the same way we could do that too in our life, start to invite him to the people that we haven't talked for a while. Maybe our neighbors, maybe our friends, maybe our family. Why don't you want to go back? What is the question you have? Here we can talk about this. Sometimes we're so far away, especially when we're like, so far away, we're like, I think I'm, I don't even know what I have to say to God. Maybe you might feel that way. And it can be that way, right? It can't be that way. But I want to tell you, don't. God will accept you for who you are. Doesn't matter if you haven't gone to church for 10 to 15 years. Start now to come back. Start coming back to the family. 
start coming back and go let's start this beginning and share this good news because he called to love us he called us to go share the good news he called us to fulfill the promises he called us to invite to bring his children in the house of the Lord thank you so much I hope to see you next time God bless you bye bye